Hello everyone, we are back again for another Family at Clarksville Highway in our series of devotions called Family Ties. And tonight we are going to meet Dennis and Carolyn Adcock. And I want to share a little story about something that Mr. Dennis taught me years ago that I bet he will not remember, but... Uh, over 30 some years ago, when Dale and I had been married for about two years, our refrigerator quit working, wasn't keeping things cool. And we lived in the basement of Dale's parents. We were saving money. Well, you two had invited us over for lasagna after we had gone to church there for a little bit. And so we knew that you were a, a refrigerator guy. <laughs> So Dale called uh, Dennis, and I think on the phone you tried to troubleshoot what the problems might be, but couldn't figure it out. So you said, I'm just going to come over and look at it. So Dennis comes over to the house, and he looks underneath the refrigerator, and he said, I think I know what the problem is. He said, you have to vacuum <laughs> these refrigerator <laughs> coils. <laughs> and I remember being so embarrassed that I did not know that and that the refrigerator coils looked like they had uh, wool on them or fur on them. <laughs> so Dennis taught me a very important lesson that my mother did not teach me, uh, and that was that you have to vacuum your refrigerator coils. <laughs> but uh, that was one of the first of many house calls, actually, that Dennis made to our house uh, in that way we appreciate them all but we really appreciate uh to what you guys have done at church over the years because i know when i first started going there you were in charge of all education and that was a big 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 job uh back then lots of teachers lots of kids and a lot going on carolyn was always teaching and i mean now you're one of our shepherds elders and uh, that's a huge responsibility. Carolyn is doing all the bookkeeping for us, and so you guys have just always done a whole lot for the church uh, through the years, and we appreciate it. But I want you guys to go and do some of the backstory. Mm -hmm. I want you to tell us um, a little bit about yourselves, just where you grew up, how the two of you met, and then how you ended up going uh, to church at Clarksville Highway. Um, I grew up around the Joelton area most of my life anyway and um, uh, whenever uh, my dad had a job uh, at a nursery and the guy that run the nursery went to church at um, Joelton Church of Christ so um, him and his wife would come and pick us kids up and take us to church there's like four of us at the time that would go to church with them. And they would come Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, and pick us up and take us to church. And I was um, I was baptized there, and I probably at maybe age 12. And then when I was like 16 or 17, um, we moved and had to, you know, when we moved, we moved over to Ridge Road, which the road that y'all live on. Oh, and you know, at the time yeah, yeah. it used to, it used to run Ridge Road ran right by the church. Yeah. So whenever we moved, I was thinking, you know, how am I going to get to church and looking for a church? And I saw that one. So I don't know. For a few Sundays, I walked from my house to the church, and I can't remember if at that time they had. A joy bus or something. Yeah, at that time, I did, but she also had Angie. <laughs> yeah, and I also had Angie, and I would carry Angie. She was like two years old, and I would carry her, and we would, you know, go to church. And so I think then after that, we started riding the joy bus. And uh, and not long after that, I started dating Dennis because when I moved from uh, from Jolton, I started going to Cheatham County High. And his sister also went to Cheeto County High. And she had just started, like, I guess a year after I did, probably. Oh, mm -hmm. And um, so she introduced us 
And uh, so that's how we met. Okay. So actually, my sister brought two girls home. Because me and my brother were his friends. And she brought two girls home for really both of us to meet. Yes. And of course, she thought it was just the opposite. She thought I was like matchmaker. the other mm -hmm. one. And, and my brother would like her, but it worked out just different. Mm -hmm. I liked her and he liked the other one. So, Bring it up, at the time I lived in Kingston, I lived in West Nashville most of my life, but we moved to Kingston at that time. She went to Chim County High, so she brought them home one day while we did with couple. And it worked that out. That is we funny. never dated anybody else or anything, you know, from mm -hmm. that, that first time. We just, you know, wow. dated for about three years and mm -hmm. got married in 75. Wow. wow, that's awesome. And then, so... You said you took Angie to church. Yes, that's my Your sister. little sister. Mm -hmm. Right. So she was only two years old yes. at the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I was like 15 years older than her. Wow. So okay. She was like my little girl. Right now. <laughs> I bet. Yes. So she was sitting there and I said, when she first started coming, people probably thought that was her daughter. Yes. <laughs> probably thinking, oh, a single mom, and, you know, a little baby. <laughs> and that, that never crossed my mind, but until later, you know, yeah. they probably thought that. Yeah. <laughs> And so, did you then invite Dennis to Clarksville well, Highway? How did? We were quick. Yes, we. Uh, he would come to um, my church, but the Clarksville Highway one Sunday, and then he went to Baptist a Baptist church. church. And so we kind of took mm -hmm. turns, you know, every okay. other Sunday, doing okay. that for for a while. And the preacher at that time was Cindy Cooper. I've heard I his name. Like no, but I have heard his name. In the old yes, <laughs> in the old little building, and that's where we got married. Was in that little building behind mm -hmm. the church that used to be a schoolhouse. Okay, yeah. that is not there anymore. Uh, not that old one. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, where the pavilion is. Okay. But, there used uh, to be a little white school building there, like a two-room school. Building. That's where Jeannie and Kelly went to school. Yes, and mm -hmm. my dad did too. Okay. So okay. he knew Kelly. Uh, from, from school. I mean. Uh huh. So, I thought that was neat to go to church where my dad went to school. Mm -hmm. in the same mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we had to make a decision finally where we was going to go. And basically, I guess my dad influenced me on that. My mom did not want me to leave the Baptist faith. And, but dad was like, You need to read your Bible, see what looks best, what's more like what you believe in. And that's what you need to do with all your heart. So, that's what we did. Wow, that is good advice. Mm -hmm. Very good advice. Yeah. <laughs> um, so is there, I asked Ina, Carol, and Fred this, is there a, um, a verse or like a story or something that was really special to your family or to either each of you personally that you would like to share with us? I know one of yours that I, that I like also is Isaiah 40, 31, where it talks about those that hold to the Lord shall be renewed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Change your mouth like that. Now I'm going to wings like eagles and <laughs> running not in way and walking. Like we'll find yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know they have a song that goes with that. I think that it's just Yes, wonderful. I like that song. It's one of our favorite ones. Yeah. And I guess I, through my life too, one of my Several verses that talk about trusting the Lord, but it seems like I had to do that a lot. Yes, mm -hmm. like that's probably, I, I think you have a verse. I mean, I, I have a verse, a different verse almost every day, seems like, you know, with just certain circumstances that happen, you know, right. and, and a verse will just pop in your mind. But I guess overall, it would be the Proverbs 3 5 and 6. Mm -hmm. where it says to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Because you have to do that every day. I mean, it's not just like when you have a a hard day. It's like every day, you know. That's a good point. Yeah. And you can't, a lot of times you don't understand um, things that happen. And that's when you have to just trust in Him. Mm-hmm. Let's go from there. Yeah, I remember early on in our marriage that we, it was three kids and two of us is five. 
<laughs> you have your brother and sister involved like that. In a little three bedroom. All bathroom. living together. Yeah. Yes. That was yes. dreadful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now yeah. when was Jason born? 78. In 78. And then you had the twins? In, in 81. Okay. So this was about that time when everyone was in 1981 when everyone probably was a little later than that there was probably the twins were well, yeah, they were someone was in school jason or one and had to go to school yeah. didn't he so yeah jason was already in school so we'd all have to go to the bathroom we had one anymore. bathroom and they were just eight people <laughs> oh, yes it was, it was uh, that was that was a hard time yeah. because at the time i wasn't working and uh, yeah, because i had you know <laughs> tina and tommy, and tommy were small at that time so uh, so we took you know we took them in and um, it was a time we just had to trust and we ate a lot of potatoes and <laughs> raw potatoes <laughs> we had potatoes slept on the floor we cleaned yes. some potatoes and I have never yes. seen so many <laughs> we had potatoes for breakfast and lunch and so we and what you can do with potatoes we had potatoes I bet you were good at that <laughs> <laughs> He has blessed us in a lot of ways. You know, we, I think we had to trust him whenever we actually moved from that house to this house because there was a big difference, you know, in financially. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, but I had went back to work at that time, so. Um, it was still a pretty big difference. It was, it was, it was a big difference. So, um, and he worked that out. It just seems like, you know, he just always works things out. You know. I mean, even with the house, we felt like the way he worked things out with financial stuff that he worked it out to get this house. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We was meeting in our little house with groups as much as fifteen or twenty sometimes in our little small house. We prayed for years for a bigger house. In fact, I quit praying for a bigger house. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of years after that, it's like he worked it's it out. When it happened. Happened. Yeah. The Lord you know, we bought some land, the sold the land, we had to have enough to get down on this. We didn't have it, so we sold the land. Mm -hmm. And what he gave me, what I got for the land was unbelievable at that time. I wow. couldn't believe it was like God had to have a hand in that. Because uh -huh. so it's exactly had, what we needed to put down on this house. You know, yeah, we sold exactly the land. what we needed. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just confirmation yes. at every turn. Yeah, reassurance. But at that time, the, the kids were already like high school. Well, the, yes, Tommy and Tina. Were. Tommy and Tina were graduating that year when we got this house. So, <laughs> but we haven't, you know, we have enjoyed it, and I think they get to enjoy it for a while too. So. Yeah. Well, and you've had lots of people over yeah, in this yeah. house mm -hmm. and groups, well, like even with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now if you don't mind, just tell us a little bit about what you two like to do in your spare time, hobbies, or interests, or things that you really enjoy. Well, I always enjoy playing baseball, softball, that type of stuff all the time. It's my, my biggest hobby. And the oh, other thing, okay. I love going to the mountains. To what? To the mountains. Oh, I do okay. That quite often. I love going to the mountains, just basically to follow. Uh huh. See all the beauty of God's creation and peaceful, mm -hmm. quiet. Did you guys go to Gatlinburg? Yeah, or, we were okay. Two yeah. times a year. Yeah. Okay, cool. And what about you, Carolyn? Um, I like to read. I like to read a lot. I just don't have enough time. <laughs> Any certain type of? Uh, well, most of the books that I, I read are like religious, but I do like like love stories that are. Uh -huh. Christian based uh -huh. stories. I, I like those. And um, I like to sew. I like to cook. That's a lost art. And um, both of us, I think, like games, playing games and oh, stuff. Yeah. Because oh, like, me too. Yes. Yeah. We, you know, we love having people over, you know, and playing, you know, one of our favorites is hand and foot or sequence or, you know. One, one of those games, but we, we yeah, both really enjoy too. that. Okay, sounds like fun. Cookouts, I like having cookouts. Cookouts, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> we do that three or four times a year. Yeah. And family, we're both family-orientated, you know. Mm -hmm. It was family a lot. 
Yeah, he's got to be king. Lena, and be family king. vacations. Mm -hmm. I enjoy going on family vacation with kids and grandkids. With and everyone. everyone. Tell us who everyone is. The grandkid, the kids and the grandkids. Okay. Well, our, our oldest is Jason. And um, he's married to, to Tina. Uh, which gets confusing because <laughs> we have a daughter, Tina. But he's married to Tina. And... Um, he was, uh, his first marriage, he had uh, twins, Emma and Riley, and they graduated this year from, mm -hmm. from high school. And, and Tina had, Tina, well, Tina well, had uh, a daughter, Morgan, when they got married, and she got married last year. And she's 22, I think, maybe 21 or 23. And they live in Greenbrier, uh, except for Morgan. She, well, she lives in Greenbrier now, but her husband is in the Navy, so uh, he's fixing to go overseas, so she's staying with him right now. And let's see, Tina and Tommy, of course, are the twins, and uh, Tina uh, has Ava and Abby, and Ava's like 11, and Abby will be 8 in September. And uh, I watch them too during the day in, in the summer when they're not at school. And they live in Ashland City. And then Tommy uh, lives with us. He, uh, he works in Bowling Green with a dentist. And so uh, they just kind of ride in together and it just works out where he can, you know, he can be here and ride in with him and, and everything. So. Awesome. Well, that sounds great. We appreciate you guys very much. Thank you for um, just inviting us in your home and letting us get to know you a little bit better. All right. Thanks again, Dennis and Carolyn, for sharing your story with us. Um, I love Carolyn's story of the neighbor who invited her to church and not only invited her, but also uh, took the time to bring her every every week and that's a that's a great story for all of us on discipleship not just inviting people but taking the time to say hey can I give you a ride uh, to church uh, what follows is a devotional based on Carolyn's favorite verse of Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Uh, one last disclaimer. Mr. Dennis is not in the refrigeration business anymore. So please don't call him if your refrigerator tears up. But do vacuum your refrigerator coils.